got to head out and get ready for a stream. Have a great stream. Thank you so much for being here, Shinigami. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks. Um, Kathy is my favorite person on Twitch, I think. I love her stream so much. Um, and I love just hanging out with her. She's a, she's a cool, cool kid. Um... Is anything about it? You do have a fair share of... <laughs> we also have a... Um, what's it called? A flamethrower. We also have a flamethrower. Yeah, we have a few fire implements. Just just a, a, a few. Um, it's really just being a food and extreme level. A lot of us don't get started for a bit. Yeah, I just love to chat and hang out with you guys. And like... If I had just started cooking when I first went live, we would have been cooking something totally different and not unique and fun. We are not cooking with a flamethrower. That is mostly Travis's toy. And by mostly, I haven't used it actually since he got it. <laughs> Only he has used it. Um, that's what you meant by torch? Oh, because we do have a brulee, we have like a little kitchen torch. We also have a flamethrower, like a propane flamethrower. No, that is, that is not happening. Um, I think we're just going to do them in the oven at the same time as the bread because that just seems easier. Um, the water is simmering. These need to, these only need to go for a minute. Y'all, I'm bad at time. Let's do, The bell peppers need to be done first because they need to cook for 20 minutes, it says. Um, Kathy's awesome. You missed her stream this morning. Literally joined us. She's running out. That's amazing. That is so late. That is... What, what part of the world is everyone from? I am in Atlanta, Georgia, in the southeast USA. Um, I think I have an exclamation point time command that works that says what time it is here, which is a little after 7 p.m. One is in the UK at the moment. Wait, am I allowed to ask what brought you to the UK? What, what made you, what, what is happening there? Um, George is from Texas. What part of Texas? Work? Is it, like, hopefully that's fun. I liked traveling for work sometimes. Hopefully it is a good work trip. Um, okay. I feel like my cutting board has, like, bread on it. It needs to get, like, washed off. So I'm just going to turn this water off because I'm not getting to that at the moment. Dallas. Okay, I've been to Dallas. I used to, I was a consultant over in a Frontier uh, in Allen at one point. Uh, back to America at the end of the week. Have you been to the UK before? I've never been overseas, guys. I've never been overseas. I've been to the, out of the country because I've been to Canada, but, um, um, let's not talk about people's private lives, especially if you don't know what's, um, happening. Um... Um, oh, very close down. That's cool. You saw this crazy fight when you stopped to get a cider. So yeah, it's been kind of fun. <laughs> Don't say this is hot. Oh no.
So, this is your first overseas. Well, I hope it's a good trip. I hope you have fun there. Um, bell peppers. We need, okay, so we're gonna roast these bell peppers. Wash off my bell peppers. Let me get the stickers off of them. Washing off the bell peppers. And then we are gonna cut them into quarters, um, season them. Uh, Wonton is in the UK. I mean, you can have fun on road trips sometimes. <clears throat> Depends. Um. I had some really good trips when I was a consultant. I also had some that were not as fun. Okay, we're gonna hop over here. And so we are cutting these guys in half and then quartering. chair to sit in while you stream hopefully getting one tomorrow I n almost never sit when I stream I am almost always standing sometimes when things are in the oven I'll pull over a bar stool and sit down but usually nah but I have a good um, anti-fatigue mat under my feet Uh, workshops are really fun. Ambulance rides. Oh, <sighs> yeah, that's that's fair, Hoju. I am. Um, my first ever work trip was to Pittsburgh, and it's one of my favorite places um, that I traveled for work. And like, I went to a Penguins game. I. Um, Went to, there's like, um, we stayed at the Renaissance Hotel and there was a uh, theater next door and they were having like um, a Game of Thrones parody happening. I went to see with my coworkers, which was awkward by the way, because there was a lot of inappropriate jokes and stuff and I was like, mm, this makes me uncomfortable right now because I'm with my coworkers. Um, sitting is for the week. I mean, no, people can sit, that's fine. I don't care if other people sit. I just, um, I don't like doing things in the kitchen when it's, I'm sitting. Sitting is for like relaxing. And I sit all day for my day job. So there's also that. Um, I don't know how quotes work. Um, I feel like there is an ad quote thing and I don't know how it works. That's the first time anyone's ever tried to do that, I think. Um, Alex can't sit for very long, you have fibromyalgia. Understandable. Need the bot one day. Can you send a message in Discord reminding me to look into the quotes? 
Like in the suggestions or something? Um, quote ad sitting for, maybe? Lindsay needs to finish things up for work. Thanks for the work, Lurk. I appreciate it. We need to forever document all the genisms. On terms of documenting things, I've been working on it. Um, I've been working on, it's uh, still code is work in progress. I think it's exclamation point com list. I'm still working on getting the rest of my, the commands to show up, but I think some of them will sh show up. Maybe I got it working. You feel like you, I don't think you have. Oh, exclamation point quote. You are right, Quanton. So what is the quote ad command? Turns out, by the way, blue raspberries are not real. They are not real. Um, Maybe quote ad is mod only and I dreamt of adding them myself. It says you, it gave you props. So don't, so it feels like you did it. And Hoju is trying to add quotes and they're not happening. Okay, so we need to coat these in olive oil and some seasonings. Oh, hey, you did it. <laughs> okay. We just had to figure out the command. Granted, that's probably, I've been working on transitioning all of my commands to my new bot. So that'll probably also get transitioned now that you just figured it out. Okay, so, going back to my roasted bell pepper, how to roast a bell pepper. Um, so they just say, uh, place them in the drizzle olive oil, coat them with olive oil. Actually, let me put these like in a bowl. I feel like it'd be easier to coat them in olive oil if they're in a bowl. Maybe I should have used a bigger bowl. Ugh. Oh, that was a lot of olive oil. Iron Chef, hello! Happy Monday, Wednesday, dang it. Happy Wednesday. As I drop a bell pepper overboard. Okay, so we've got olive oil coated bell peppers. Hey Google. Hey Google. What is the temperature in the living room? Okay, cool. It is on. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't just gonna start dying soon. Um, you're making ribs for supper. How are you making your ribs? Also, um, what is everyone else cooking tonight? Oh. Rinse this oil off my hands. 
by rinse I mean use soap because that is the only way you get it off. Well, um, mall food court pre night shift. Okay. Do you know what you're gonna get at the mall at the food court? Do you have a go-to place there? I'm trying to think of the last time I ate at a small food court. I used to work across the street from a mall. We would go to lunch and get Subway most of the time. Um, we're just gonna eyeball these seasonings. Garlic powder on everything. Um, salt. Um, one time I had Thai food and it was pretty good, okay. Uh, tater tot casserole in honor of Rusty Bloodhound. Did Rusty make some tater tot casserole recently or something? Also, what goes into a tater tot casserole? Um, this place that has braised beef on rice that comes with some veggies and tomato and egg. I like, okay. Um, well think about it, it might be a stretch. They are microwave ones. Can you, oh he hates tater tots. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I really like tater tots. I don't really, I don't really like french fries. I, like if there's french fries and tater tots, I'm getting tater tots. Um, pepper, garlic, salt, oregano, and red pepper flakes. Ooh, what kind of red pepper flakes do we want to put on it? Also, it's an oregano, right? My oregano is empty. Oregano? Yeah, not Italian. Um, because we don't have a standard uh, red pepper flakes. We have some sweet heat. We have some dark and smoky, probably dark and smoky. I feel like we're missing one. I don't remember what it was. Ah! Okay, so we've got this Hatch Valley Green that has um, Big Jim's Sandias, the Jalapenos, and Habaneros in it. We've got the Sweet Heat one, which has Scotch Bennets, Anchos, and Red Bell Peppers. And we've got this dark and smoky, which is chipotle ancho and habanero. Um, I think that I'm gonna go dark and smoky. Uh, tater tots, eggs, cheese, sausage, sometimes you get fancy and add green bell peppers. Okay. Sandia is a, is a pepper, apparently. Yes. Hey Google. What is a sandia pepper? According to Wikipedia, alternating currents and electric currents. It did not understand my question. It is now explaining alternating currents to me as in like electrical currents. Um, and I'm now thinking to pour these back in here and mix them up because I feel like There's a bunch of seasoning on the paper. And it's not coming off because there's oil on the paper.
Um. Oh, so you have a birthday cake dessert? Wait, was it your birthday recently? Is your birthday today? Whose birthday was it? Uh, yeah, definitely ask about AC currents. Super helpful. Okay. Let's try this again now. Also, I didn't add oregano. I'm incapable of following instructions, apparently. I don't know how much it called for. Not as, I probably added more than it called for. Uh, your birthday was on the 5th, so just like a few days ago. Well, happy belated birthday. I hope you had a lovely birthday and a lovely birthday weekend and birthday week. Okay, all mixed up with the seasonings. Now let's try this again. seasoning is on my hands now. Like I should have used a spatula to stir it. Um, George, thank you so much for the work. Appreciate you hanging out. my hands again. Um, great, gotta, great to chat. God, I can't read apparently. Um, gotta give a great to chat with you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here and chatting. I hope you have a great night. A great day. Um, how do you smell working? Gotta go get ready for work. <clears throat> appreciate you being here. How'd you? Um, Alex. So thanks, you did spend time with your family. That's fun. Hopefully, hopefully it wasn't stressful family time. It was good family time. Okay, so um, into the oven for 20 minutes. Hey Google, set a 20 minute timer. Um, cool, cool, cool. And now, in the meantime, P.S. I was looking, for, oh, I found it. I was looking for my bread knife earlier. I couldn't find it. I just used a steak knife to cut the bread, but I feel like it'd be better to use like an actual knife. Um, also, I just set that knife over there, dirty, on the side. I need to clean it and put it away. Not put dirty knives over there. It's a new knife and we want to treat it properly. Uh, it's really good family time, just what you needed. Awesome. I am glad to hear that. That's so nice. I love when you can have just like some good family time. Okay. Let us put this knife on our magnet over here. Dry off the cutting board. Um, and, uh, how much bread do you think we want for this? Oh, 
For anyone who wasn't here, we made cat, uh, a purebred cat loaf. Um, okay, so we're cutting this thin. Um, making a uh, crostini. Um, I don't know how much I want to cut of it. Oops, shoot. Try to go too thin, apparently. Um, Noodle, hello. Yes, we are eating the cat. Um, we are making some uh, crostini, crostini, crostini out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe like eight pieces of crostini. You can always make more later. It doesn't seem like it takes too long to make. says where's the is this a Chris nope that's not Christy here it is um it says line parchment paper or line a baking sheet parchment paper for easy cleanup um, slice your baguette to no wider than half inch. Uh, lightly brush both sides with olive oil. This will require about two to three. It, we're not making as much as they're making. Um, so we get a piece of parchment paper. Still fighting to wake up. The struggle, I have that struggle every morning. <laughs> Me and mornings are not friends. So earlier I used this little um, brush to dust the flour off of the bread. It's not like super dirty. It's just got a little bit of flour on it. Um, don't mind me being in and out slightly. No worries, N none at all. Um, let me grab a little, little bowl. This one is dirty. Um, we need a little more olive oil. You kind of had a late night. That's a struggle. Oh shoot, I didn't set a timer. Uh, hey Google, set a, hey Google, set a 17 minute timer. until 3 a.m.? That is so late.
So we're just brushing these with olive oil. I will get that in just a second. Um, you went out with your friend until 3 a.m. or so. You met up at a, that is so late to meet up. Hey, Ma. Where can you go? Hey there, come on. Um, did the texture of the loaf change? What do you mean? In what sense? Like from making it, oh, um, so like the like, uh, edges. So the middle part is just like a, it's just a loaf of bread. Um, the like legs and stuff were kind of weird. They were, because they were like, they, they cooked more. So they were kind of a little bit dry, especially on the edges, like, like by the paws. And the little like knobs of like, that we put on for like little paw pieces. Um, they, uh, were um, like super crunchy. But it was kind of fun because it was like a little bit of a change of texture. Oops. Um, but it was a little bit weird. Um, oh, you're waiting for your husband to go to work. And I guess her husband works late nights. All right, so we are just doing a very light brushing of olive oil on all of these. My iPhone just ran out of storage. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Um, I thought I deleted a bunch of videos earlier today. Let me go back to my videos. I did, I deleted a bunch of videos earlier today. How am I out of storage space? Um, going to my settings. Um, yeah, she's waiting for me to work out. Plus, I had to make sure my grandfather was sleeping before you headed out. Okay. Seems reasonable. Um, okay, so we've got these here. It says, uh, spray the toast lightly with salt after they've been toasted. Oh, I had reinstalled an app. Um, let me delete that app. It was a problem. Um, cool. All uh, right, since your mom was also night shift. So you were like helping out your family by checking Helping your grandpa. Right, so we are going into the oven. 
I do not want a flashlight on. Oh, the bell peppers are in the middle. delete those two videos I just took that were useless. Delete. Oh, I just deleted the wrong one, guys. That was silly. Hold on. I'm going to pull it back out to record again. Google, is that a seven minute timer? Second timer, okay. seven minutes, starting now. Uh, yeah, you're a care caregiver to your grandfather and there are some nights he wakes up suddenly. Hey, see. Um, okay, so it says to put them on, middle rack, for six to nine minutes until they're crisp and golden on top. Um, and then sprinkle them with salt. Um, and then regarding the tamponade, we need to, it says to boil garlic, bring water to a boil, add garlic, cook and cover it until tender, drain and pat dry. Place with bell peppers, almonds, tomato paste, oil, and a small food processor. Press, process until blended. Transfer to a small bowl. So, six to eight minutes. Let me get the water back up to a boil. Um, three cloves of garlic, it says. Four, how many bell peppers? Three, two cups of roasted bell peppers. I don't know how many bell peppers that is. We'll just do three cloves or so. We'll see how many, how big the cloves are. Maybe a little bit more for three cloves. A lot of these are really small. Oh, that's a weird looking, weird, it's like brown and soft. I'm just going to put that down the garbage disposal. Um, so you had camera on in the case anything happened, you could call your helper. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I take it you don't go out too much in the evenings then since you're helping out. You have the most demanding cats ever. You hear monster demanding for food. <laughs> Did you guys see that? This like piece of garlic just like flew. It went flying.
Smashing helps it, um, uh, get the skins off. I don't know, I'm struggling with words all of a sudden. Sometimes if you go too hard, you just completely smash the garlic. Oh my gosh, look how small these are. So little. Um, not really, not even in the morning really. You only typically go out for to run errands unless you know mom's home. Gotcha. Makes sense. Trying to get all this skin off and feel like I'm being super focused instead of talking. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so that water is starting to, it's close to coming to a boil. Um, what I'm thinking to do, it says to boil the garlic for six to eight minutes. Um, and I'm thinking that at like the seven minute mark, we'll just add in the almonds and we'll just strain it all together since it's all going into the food processor. Although we're gonna have to use the baby food processor because remember the big one didn't work for us last time. And I'm a little worried now though about the amount of things we need to put in it. We might have to do a couple batches of food processing and stir it together. Um, 12 minutes before you crawl out of bed and make yourself a cup of coffee. Where's my phone battery at? This is 17%. Do you guys think that's three? I don't think that's three cloves worth of garlic. Maybe like these two, two more. Also I'm wondering if like the little ends are gonna blend nicely. They might cause a weird texture, I'm thinking. Cutting off those little like root spots. Um, it's like a, it's like a, I'm trying to think of a good word. It's like a spread. So it's like a, you, mm, stop. Oh, that is for the bread. I think it's supposed to be a little toastier. Hey Google, set a one minute timer. Second timer for one minute, starting now. So basically we're gonna make this like, bell pepper paste with garlic and almonds that will then spread on the bread. Kind of like hummus, yeah. Oh, that is a bad piece of garlic. Publix is failing me. That's about three cloves worth. Um, all right, so we're going to pull this bread out. Let me um, put a little, whatchamacallit here. Yeah, I think this is gonna have to be about done. Stop. I'm 
feeling like they should be a little crustier on top. Maybe I just rotate them and put them back in. Whoop, as I slide around. Hot. Do you think they're gonna um, get crustier as they just like come out? Is that red thing? Yeah, it was the brush I used for the, putting the olive oil on the bread. Stop. So that's for the um, bell peppers. So there's our roasted bell peppers. Um, the center of the loaf of the dry to the touch. Like it's kind of like moist in the inside of the like regular loaf of bread. Is that what you're saying? It doesn't need to be entirely crusty. Okay. I've never made this before, so. Cool, I'm just gonna set those over here. Um, bell peppers are here. Roasted bell peppers are done. Are we supposed to peel the bell peppers? Does anyone know? Say two, but it says two cups roasted sweet bell peppers drained. Um, yeah, like toast texture, not dry, dry. Okay, yes, we are peeling them. Okay, so we'll let them cool off first. Um, and in the meantime, let's get the garlic going on the stove top. I can't see anything. Put in a paper, I don't know if I have a paper bag. Um, let me look in a second. Cook. Um. So I'm putting the garlic in here. Hey Google, set a six minute timer. Bag. Can I just put them in a bag bag? I think somewhere else had to put it in a, just in a Ziploc. I'm gonna put them in the block. My phone is out of storage again. I'm deleting apps from my phone. <laughs> to make space for videos, but I don't know which ones are the most, I'm taking out the most room. Deleting like my Panera app. Probably the best thing to do is just actually delete my or videos, but
If you don't, you probably pull the parchment over on itself, probably. Oh, that could have worked, possibly. Um, something that is a trap and heat. Sounds like a phone upgrade is in your near future. It's an iPhone 12. It has 128 gigs. I just don't know how to... I just use too much storage. File management is hard. Chris has words. Also, hey, LT. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Okay. So these are going to now get all steamy. Um... Uh... Oh, Chris has been playing Cities! I love Cities. Cities is probably my favorite sim game. Um... It's not the food photos, it's the aerial videos. You haven't had a phone with less... Less than a gig of hard drive? What? I have 128 gigs of hard drive. Um, no, it's the videos from my dance classes. <laughs> um, and then for the almonds, how many almonds did we need? Calls for a half cup. So we have a minute left on the garlic. We're just going to add it in there and then we're going to... Um, run it under cold water in a sieve. Uh, you and I found with uh, 128 gigs. Your next one will be 256. You talk about how I am playing cities, but you haven't. You haven't played yet. I assume you've played by now. Come on, dude. No, I'm, I don't mean to pressure you. I'm just. I am just joking. Do not take me seriously. Um, what the heck phone has a terabyte of storage? <laughs> yeah, I need a phone with a terabyte. That'd be great. Um, plus all the TikTok content too. Yeah, so I keep deleting the TikTok content after I make the TikToks. Okay. Um, let's do barbecue ribs. We're not doing barbecue ribs. We are making a tamponade. Wait, what's it called? Tamponade? Yeah, it's tamponade. Ta tapenade. There's no M. There's no M. Tapenade. Uh, your concept of file management is ignore file management. My concept of file management is put it on our server downstairs and um, then forget that it exists until I get told I uh, am using all the space. I don't know what Tapia is. What is Tapia? Oh, we're at a minute. Hey Google. Add 10 seconds to the timer. Done. 10 seconds added to your timer. I added it 10 seconds late. Also, I did not, um... Oh, I'm turning the heat down because it's like simmering over. Um. <laughs> I don't think that's how to pronounce either, Chris. Um. Wait, your iPhone 11 does? What the heck? Okay, turn this off. I'm not actually gonna record sitting this. Stop!
I need to get the rest of this out. Spatula. What did I do with my spatula? I need a new spatula because I lost my old one. Okay, and then it says to run it under cold water to prevent it from keeping on cooking. Um, to which you respond, the space is inadequate and we must I upgrade. <laughs> um, OMG, you must place pressure on your knee when you slept. Oh no, your knee's hurting. I only get it. Get a new iPhone, you just have to pick the bigger hard drive. They always come with the tiny one by default, but it's not worth having, but it's worth not having to worry about all that all the time, especially if you use your phone to record everything in 4K. Yeah, that's fair. I also record everything that I learn in my classes, um, which just like takes up so much space. Okay, so this is good. Set that over there. Um, Oh, we need to get fresh basil from the garden as well. Oh, so sprinkle with it after the end. Um, oh, and the tomato paste is definitely frozen. Hey Google, how many tablespoons is in a third of a cup? So about five. Um, you have that, you don't have that problem, you have no class. Oh, like, I was like, I misread that, as that word of class. I was like, what do you mean you have no class? You don't take classes that you need to record things of. I see. One, two, three, four. Five. Also, you guys can't see what I'm doing over here. So this is tomato paste. I um, actually spooned it into tablespoons and froze it. You were going for the double meeting? Oh, okay. Um, it really is the Achilles heel of iPhone. They support this forever, software updates. The processor is fast, so they never give you enough storage and there's no way to upgrade it. Yeah, it's really annoying that they don't let you put a micro um, storage on it. All right, so are they supposed to just like peel off in the bag? Or do I have to like pull them out to peel it off? I got what I got it. I got what you were saying. Um, okay. Peel the skin off of it. Is that all we're doing? But I feel like it's not coming off all nicely.
Things you don't want to hear when you join a conversation at a random point. I want to peel the skin. I'm trying to peel the skin off this bell pepper. I don't know if I am. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't know how this works. Um. Ideally, you want more of those charred bits on the skin. I see, where it was charred, it came off very easily. There was not a lot of that on these. Like maybe I should have put it closer to the um, the heat element. Um, Jen, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Um, it looks fine for how cooked those got. Okay, that's good. And then after proper steaming, they basically fall off. Well, I don't know. I mean, I put them in the bag for a while, right? Um, I'm doing good, Jen. How are you? Nice to see you. Um, what should you do for dinner today, Chris? What do you have? What do you have? Is it okay if I don't get all of the skin? Um, are you talking to the other Jen? Just sounds like you, I am talking to the other Jen. Yes. Um, school starts uh, next week. You're counting down. School for yourself or for teaching? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Um, how are you feeling about the new school year? It also goes for anyone else who's just starting school. New school year. This is more of a what do I order in this situation? Kiddos, the best kind of school. Oh, okay. So you're sending your kiddos to school. So you get them out of the house. The fact that it's like sticking to the skin is kind of annoying. Um, Phoenix thinks you should order Vietnamese. Vietnamese is always a good option. Pho? I don't know if I've had Vietnamese other, Pho is Vietnamese, right? I think. Um. I don't know, what are you in the mood for? Whenever uh, Travis and I are like, I don't know what we want to eat, we, we start playing the game of what don't you want to eat? And then each person has to eliminate. So then once you eliminate enough things, you're like, okay, this is what's left. That's what we're gonna have. Um, tomorrow you have to s help sort four pallets of school supplies though. The thing, the PTO, is that like PTA? PTA, like Parent Teacher Association? Or what is PTO? 
Well, I think PTO, I think paid time off. So I don't think that I'm thinking of the right PTO. Or is it parent teacher organization? <laughs> but if it is parent teacher organization, that's pretty funny because it's like, haha, in order to do the PTO stuff, you have to take PTO. Um, or not paid time off, depending on your job. Um, <laughs> parent teacher org. <laughs> it is. It is funny. I am. Uh, I'm very amused right now. Oh my gosh. Um, Phoenix says I made a burger recipe the other night and it worked wonderfully. Wait, what did you do? What does your new burger recipe entail? Also guys, I'm gonna give up on peeling the skin off. It's just gonna be some skin in here and it's gonna have to be fine. Because I, I can't get it all off. Some of it is just, it's just stuck on there. Feel like I did this wrong. But I can hit these with a torch to get the skin to come off. Is that a bad idea? Is that a good idea? It's not going to cook them too much more, but it'll like flame up the skin maybe. Um, bun, beef patty, Monterey Jack, kimchi, waffle fries, cooked extra crispy, and I don't know what that mayo is, how to pronounce that. I feel like I should be able to pronounce that, but I, I, my brain is just saying, nope, don't even try. Um, um. Torch time. Maybe that's not gonna work. Is that where the skin was? Or am I just like charring that, the bell pepper itself? This is obviously skin right here. Oh, that's the skin. Skin never killed anybody. This one feels like this one is just gonna come off. The skin is very obviously popping when it's getting hit. 
This one I think I had already peeled pretty well. Like I didn't, I don't think this end is peeled. to roast them for a moment over a gas burner. I mean, I could do that too. This is kind of fun though. Kind of the same idea as the gas burner. It's a texture thing. But sometimes it's just not coming off. Crumble a little pepper. <laughs> this one's actually kind of come off just fine. Yeah, it's peeling a lot easier. It's still, it's like breaking apart now though but it's coming off. Um. We might still end up with some skin in here, but it'll mostly be creamy. Also guys, it says to refrigerate for four hours. So that's not happening. Goodness gracious. which is one hour or longer can be safely ignored <laughs> yeah I think um probably put your um bell peppers closer to the um broiler like to the flame than I did I put mine on the middle rack you probably want it on the top rack um it 
It's more uh, if serving as a party dip type scenario. It says to let the flavors blend. I'm just gonna let the um, the flavors in blend in the food processor. <laughs> It's uh, I think we're making dessert tonight. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, well, that too, but it'll be fine. Lurk prepping breakfast for your grandfather. All right, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate you hanging out. I thought it helped a lot on that first one, but I really don't know if it did. I don't, I'm giving up the further we get into this. It is supposed to easily peel off for everyone's reference. Next time you make it, it will be better. Yes. Wash my hands very well. This towel now needs to be uh, cleaned. Uh, photon checks into a hotel. The bellhop asks if he can assist with any luggage. The photon replies, "No, I'm traveling light." Because, because he's, he's a traveling light. Do you guys get it? Do you guys get it? There's the bell peppers. And then, and the tomato paste was already in there. And, um, garlic and almonds. Also, maybe we were supposed to peel the almonds and I did not do that. Y'all, this is gonna be a texture mess. It's fine. I'm just gonna grab these big pieces that I see of almond skin.
Um, yeah, so we blanched sliced almonds, which had some skins with them. And it's said to like blanch whole almonds and then peel them. Peeling whole almonds is a lot easier than peeling uh, peeling sliced onion, uh, almonds. Oh well. Oh well. It's mostly small pieces. Oh well, it's fine. Um, two tablespoons of olive oil. salt, some pepper, and some fresh basil, which we still need to go grab. Um, olive oil. Salt. Pepper. Um, Blanche, you're more of a Dorothy fan. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's. Um, I'm gonna run outside and grab some basil real quick. Um which we're supposed to put on at the end, actually. So I didn't need to go out this second, but I'm going out the second since it's still a little bit light outside. Um, that smells really good out here. Someone is cooking something delicious. I got a small, but we might want more. Um, cool. Lights out, what are you? Wait, what? What do you mean by lights out? Um, okay. So, now we need to use the food processor lid. Also, I'm pretty surprised that all of this fit in one container. I would just like to say that. Oh, it is still light out.
I just took the blade out though, so hopefully I don't want to add anything to it. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that middle part. Spicy. It's got some like texture to it, but I don't know if it's supposed to. Like it's got like little chunks in it, but it's probably fine. Um, it's cool enough I can put it away. Um, oh crap, and I was supposed to make the meatballs. How many we each want? Maybe five? Two, three, four, five, six, nine. That leaves four. I have nine on here and there's four left. Should I just make them all? I'm not worried we're not gonna want them all. Maybe I make us each four. And we can have some more, we can bake some more if we want more. Okay. Um, I have no idea how long you're supposed to bake them for. Uh, hey Google. Hey Google, is it a 10 minute timer? Um, 10 minutes, starting now. How long to bake? Um, I can't type. Bake frozen meat balls. Say 20 minutes. Hey Google, add 10 minutes to the timer. So maybe we want to rotate it in 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna let these just chill out. Um, I'm going to empty the dishwasher while this finishes. Look, we do have time to do the dishes while things are baking. Um, Guys, I bit my cheek so hard earlier that it still hurts. I just want y'all to know that. It's been a long time since I've bit my cheek like that. Um, do you guys like bite your cheek a lot? Is that a thing? I found out somewhat recently, um, I actually like regularly like chew the insides of my cheeks. It's like apparently an anxiety thing. Didn't realize everyone didn't do that. Fun fact about me. Let's put the almonds back away. Oh, just 
those to sit on the counter because they're still wet. You can't stack them on each other while they're wet. Chris, what did you decide to order tonight? Anyone else making anything yummy for dinner or ordering anything for your dinner? Um. I'm drying the bottoms of these coffee cups because they get water in them. I think it was like all the crickets and stuff outside are so loud <laughs> that she um, couldn't hear me when I called her the first time. Pretty sure, it was pretty loud. Oh, we're almost out of treats in the kitchen. Come here. Cause it was almost like I scared her when I like made a kiss kiss sound at her. Burrito, Oreo milkshake, and banana pudding. That sounds, assuming that that is not one item and that those are three separate items, it sounds delicious. What kind of burrito do you go with? Did you go with? I assume it's not an Oreo milkshake burrito. <laughs> Cause that's, although I mean, maybe it could be good. Be like an Oreo ice cream inside of a tortilla. I mean, you can put sweet things in tortillas. I regularly do. Shaved steak, yum. Steak's always a good, good option. Always a good option. Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna flip these over in just a few minutes and check in the internal temperatures of them and see if they... R.I.P. Choco Taco. Is that like a Taco Bell thing that they used to have? I thought that was a crunchy the wrap though, is it not? I never had it. So I don't actually know what I'm talking about. But I used to put just like Nutella on the inside of a tortilla and like it up or fold it in half. Delicious snack. Not healthy snack, but delicious snack. Um it actually drives Travis crazy because I will, I'll just put peanut butter on it. If I am low energy, um, I will just have like peanut butter on a tortilla. Peanut butter on a tortilla and I'll just eat that for lunch. And he thinks that is super weird, but you know what? It's fine. It gets some sort of form of nutri nutrients in, in my belly, right? In theory. Okay, we've got the sink. It's full of like veggie scraps, and so it's kind of not draining. Let's get it so it will drain. Go Google Choco Taco. It's for the East 
It's with it for the Easter egg? Yeah, I'll look in just a minute. Let me run to my garbage disposal. Man, that cat thing the other day, that was so great. Um, Phoenix says, uh, protein shakes for your low energy times. Those are also great. Um, I have Soylent, um, which is kind of a similar idea, but just like a meal. Uh, not always high protein. Um, I actually have some high protein Soylents though as well. Um. Oh, you meant it's worth it for the Easter egg. I see. My hands are all just still covered in dirty dish things, so I feel like I shouldn't really touch my keyboard. I'm getting there. And we're about at 10 minutes. So I'm gonna need to check on those meatballs because I really don't know if they need 20 minutes, which is what the recipe said online just now that I looked up. Both the meal and the protein ones, depending on the needs of the time. Makes total sense. Um, you get, uh, oh my god, she sliced up the purebred cat. Oh, the cat manatee. <laughs> what? Like a humanity? The cat manatee? Is that what is being said? How do you, how are you? How was your getting ready for work situation? Okay, we are almost done filling the dishwasher. With the things in the sink at the very least. There might be other dishes around that need to go in here after we're stream, but. event has never happened. Wait, what do you mean? Um, uh, it's going, I've been a very difficult time late sleeping post night shift, especially when it's two in a room. I'm sorry. It still blows my mind that they make you guys do that. It's like, there's been so much research done about sleep schedules and the people who deal with health are forced into these situations. Blows my mind. Um, okay, I'm gonna check the internal temperature of these meatballs. Um, Phoenix likes Hucatity better because cats think they are humans. I mean, that's fair. Internal temperature. Oh, when I got it halfway in, it was saying like 150 something, but at the all the way through it is. It says 165. 
I think we're good to pull these out. Um, I'll check them again on the stove top, but I mean, they were fully cooked before we put them in the freezer. So I don't know how important it is that they get up to 165. Because they're already fully cooked. Yeah, 165. Perfect. You wipe this off. Um, it's hard for part of the job, sadly, at night. The babies still want to maintain their every three hours feeding schedule. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. It just feels like you shouldn't have to rotate between night and day shifts in Jennifer's unasked for opinion. <laughs> Um, they should have people who are on night shift and they should have people who are on day shift. And there shouldn't be the like, oh, every two weeks you switch. Because that's bad for you as a human. That's what I was saying. Um, Interstellar, hello, how are you? So nice to see you. Happy Monday, Wednesday. Dang it. I even added it in to the message so I would see it and hopefully like be able to remember what day of the week it is. No. Incapable. Um, I think I'm going to put, okay, I'm trying to think how we want to do plating. Um, for picture. Um, I need my little cloth. Um, uh, you miss two weeks of night, two weeks of day versus two days, one night life. Yeah, or that, like it just, doesn't feel like, I don't know. It feels like there's a better way. That's all. Okay. School in August is that the, oh, I missed, um, oh, Wednesday to you, we had freshman orientation school today, so I helped with that. Okay. Fun. Um, so in Georgia, we started school, um, public school started in the first week of August. I think Grace's school started today, yesterday. I haven't talked to her. I need to call her and figure out how first day of school was. Cause I'm pretty sure it has happened. She called me earlier, but I was in the middle of something and then I did not get a chance to call her back before stream. I'm trying to like, I don't know, make the top of this look fun. I don't know, okay. Plating is hard. Also, these are all upside down. I'm gonna pull out the darker one. Um, put some green on the top. Oh yeah. Like, like a piece of basil. Ta -da. Maybe. Um, 
Are you Georgia born and raised New York pops? I am not. I was raised in Buffalo. I moved to Georgia in sixth grade, or after sixth grade. So actually in New York, they start in September and end in June. So when I moved to Georgia, I lost a month of summer. <laughs> um, all right, don't mind the ghost coming in. Oh no, my phone died! Guys! Crap! It's okay, I have a work phone. It's not as good of a camera, but it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be, it'll be fine. <sighs> Poopers. Um. Some green, perhaps some good olive oil? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, and then In a video. And I was supposed to slice the basil and I did not do that. I didn't slice the basil. Um Let's go buffalo. Yes. You see that I upgraded from the sock? What do you mean? Stop. Oh. Oh, I did pull them out already. Oof. Um, we start in August and end in June. Okay. Same for you as it is here in Georgia then. I forget, Nurselar, where are you, if you want to share, where are you based on of? Oh, there's a little bug. Go away, bug. East of LA. Oh, I still use a sock on my camera. It's my camera cover. A sock is too, is, 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 um, too thick to cover up my lights, though. Oh no. Okay, so if you just layer all of your basil leaves on top of each other, then you can fold it or try to roll it a little bit. You can get nice little thin. Slices of basil. Okay. Mm. 
and sprinkle some of the basil on top over here. And then photo. Cool. The end. Um, it's about dead. Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, uh, narrator. The voice. It was not fine. <laughs> um, that was about my phone dying. Um, you're in Southern California. Uh, use the stock to, yes, I, yes. Um, that's good because, oh my gosh, John, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you guys doing? Welcome in Raiders. My name is Jen. Um, I am a food and drink streamer. I also raise money for an awareness about Anxiety and Depression Association of America. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. What did you get up to on your stream, John? And, um, yeah. I don't, I, I feel like I was gonna say something else and totally lost my train of thought. Um, uh, how are you today? Uh, you stream makers and crafting? Uh, bald knife maker read? Wait, what does bald knife maker mean? Um, Welcome in, John Sin. Thank you so much. Is it Sin? Sin? John? That's, that's why I just called you John at first. Um, uh, Sheep, welcome in. How are you? Happy Wednesday to you. Um, we are making some dinner. Um, we're having apps for dinner. Um, so I was going to... Uh, give Travis four of these. I was gonna take four of these. Um, I was gonna give him a little bowl so he could spread on as much as he wanted. Um, Can someone at sell that dinner's ready? Uh, yeah, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> um, that's fair. Uh, oh, you're working on knives. All things sharp and pointy. That is so fun. Okay. Um. Grab four of these meatballs. I feel like this isn't enough and he might have to have some soil in for dinner. This feels like, ah, uh, not a lot of food. Um, and I'm gonna give him this basil that he can sprinkle on out of his own volition. We might have to add more to the dinner situation. I'm just setting it over here for him with a knife. Um, and we're gonna give it a try. Okay. Although, should I get a picture of it with the meat? Nah, it's fine. We got pictures of the stuff. Um, all right, we also need to slice some more of this basil. Fresh from our garden. Um, Pal didn't get the description. Wait, what? I didn't get it? All th knives, welcome to the one and all to signs. All things sharp and pointy. Kick back, relax, enjoy the good vibes. Oh yeah, didn't get it the first time. I don't know what happened. Or the second time. 
It got it the first time, didn't get it the second time. Yeah, I don't know. My bot is, I don't know. Something's up with my code, guys. It's fine. It works enough. <laughs> Because it happened earlier with um, Chef Steve, too. It, like, didn't get his the first time, but got it the second time. Or maybe it's vice versa. Okay, so I'm just stacking the basil on top of each other and then kind of rolling it a little bit. So you can get thin strips of... Basil. Which I'm pulling the basil off the top because some of that's going to go back in the fridge. Also, this feels like a lot. Is it what else can I put it on top of? instead of um, just bread like that. We can also put it on to top of regular bread, probably. It's always understandable. You finish streaming because you have other things to do. Um, have a great night. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for bringing your community over here. Um, I hope you feel that they are in good hands. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers. Um, yeah, so this is like nice and crunchy. The I like the texture of the tampanade. Woo! Alvin Q Sheep gifted a tier one sub to John CN. Sheep, thank you so much for gifting that sub to John. That is so kind of you. Um, Christine, is ASMR, is it too loud? <laughs> it is pretty good. It is good. It's very crunchy. Yeah. Good call. I feel like I need to mute myself. Yeah, this is delicious. Um, I didn't make enough uh, crostini for um, all of the top. I forget how to, how it's pronounced or how it's even spelled. How is it spelled? Um, T A P E N A D E. Tapenade. There's no M. I keep wanting to put an M on it. Um, the flavors are really nice. It's like a little spicy because I use some like spicy pepper flakes. Um, the basil's delicious. Cheers. Top and nod. I feel like maybe I should have blended it or uh, run it through the food processor a little longer because I feel like the almond bits are a little bit large still. Um, but it was really good. And I've got these meatballs that are from um, a while ago. We made these hoisin meatballs. <laughs> a tamponade. 
Wait, is it eight or is it odd? By the way, no, yeah, definitely not. We could have done meatball sandwiches. I could add more bread. I wonder if... Man, the meatballs are spicy. Mm. Doesn't super go well. The hoisin is a little bit weird. With, I don't know what the flavor that I'm thinking it's weird with, but I don't love it with the, um, is it tapenade? Tapenade. Nade? I don't know, guys. Hey, Google. How do you pronounce T-A-P-I-N-A-D-E? Tapenade? I said no right after you said, I wonder. Oh, you said no? <laughs> uh, I hope you always read it as, there's no M though. There's no M. Oh. Uh, science streams. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Also, feel free to just lurk if that's what you want to do. No, no pressure. Oh, there you go. Hello. Nice to see you. Top and odd. Oh. I feel like I was saying it pretty close then. Welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We made some crunchy bread toast with some, uh, I don't even know how to, I was gonna give a simple explanation. Uh, mystery sauce. <laughs> I appreciate that. Nice to meet you too. Sorry, I'm like talking with my mouth full. Um, you, you think we're thinking of two different words. I'm thinking of the cardiac condition. I don't, I, I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what you're talking about, Hoju. Jennifer is officially confused. It's paste on bread. Yeah, that's about accurate. And crunchy bread. Topped with uh, nice little leaves of basil. Also very crunchy, which I feel bad about in the Cardiac word happens when extra fluid builds up in the space around the heart. This fluid pulls pressure on the heart, prevents it from pumping well. It's a medical emergency. That's what I meant when I said this is the one you don't want. I thought you were putting the word tampon into it. And so that's what I thought you were, I, yeah. That's where my brain went because I didn't know what that word meant. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is delicious though. I feel like I'm gonna need more food than what I made, but that's gonna be a problem for Jennifer when she gets off stream. <laughs> 